Jesus, a big, big hand of praise. The touch of today will turn things around for the Amen. nations of the world. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Open my eyes, Lord, that I may behold wondrous things out of thy law. Please pray that prayer. Open my eyes, Lord, that I may behold wondrous things out of thy law. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. How many believe we serve a prayer answering God? Do you believe he has heard us again today? Give him thanks for all the prayers answered since the week began. All the prayers answered all through the last week. In the precious name of Jesus Christ. Amen. God always goes ahead of human crisis. When the month was named, fight the good fight of faith. We have not come under the choking siege of coronavirus when the word came. It meant the month is meant for us to fight until we win. To fight until we win. And in the name of Jesus, this siege is over finally today. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Let your word run swiftly across the nations of the earth today. Let your word run swiftly across the nations of the earth today. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Give the Lord a big hand of praise. And please, you may be seated. Celebrating the victory of faith over coronavirus. Amen. 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 Faith is committing God to any issue of interest in our lives. Amen. And when God steps in, the barriers are broken down. Amen. When God steps in, victory is won. Amen. When God steps in, testimony is erupt. Yes, sir. Therefore, today, testimonies shall erupt across the nations of the earth. Amen. Many people on a sick bed will jump up this morning. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. We're looking at understanding the healing power in the anointing oil. Say with me the healing power in the, the anointing, power in the anointing oil. In the oil. Understanding the healing power in the anointing oil. Understanding the healing power in the anointing oil. In Mark chapter 6, verse 7, he called unto him the twelve and began to send them forth by two and two and gave them power over unclean spirits. And verse 12, and they went out and preached that men should repent and they cast out many devils 
and anoint with oil many that were sick and heal them. Amen. And remember, he called it power. Yes, yes. He gave them the bottles of oil and said, hey, Young man, he had his power Amen. to heal all manner of sickness and all manner of disease. We are told that he sent them to heal all manner of sickness and all manner of disease. So the anointing oil is God's power that heals all manner of sickness and all manner of disease, including this deadly coronavirus. It's clearing off the earth today. It's clearing off the earth today. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. He called it power. And so it is. Whatever name he called it, that's the name that it goes with. It. So the power of God flows through this oil Amen. to heal every man of sickness and every man of disease. Amen. Amen. But understanding is critical. Understanding is vital to assessing any provisions of the kingdom. In Matthew 13 and verse 23, he said, That which fell on good ground is he that heareth the word and understandeth it, which also beareth fruit and bringeth forth, and bringeth forth some a hundred fold, some sixty, and some thirty. They all fell in good ground, but there are different levels of understanding determines their outcome. That's why the Bible says, with all thy getting, get understanding. With all thy getting, get understanding. Because that is your asset to taking delivery of what belongs to you in the kingdom. In all your getting, get understanding. What is spiritual understanding is being able to see what God is saying. Being able to see. Nobody ever doubts what he sees and what to believe you empowered to become. Yes, May the eyes of all be open today Amen. to be able to see what God is saying Amen. and enter into the fullness of it. Amen. We saw the story of um, the Ethiopian Enoch. Philip asked him, Understand that thou what thou readest? He said, How can I accept someone should guide me? And so he desired Philip that he would come up and sit with him. And the place of the scripture which he read is he was led as a sheep to the slaughter and like a lamb dumb before a shearer so he opened not his mouth and so Philip began with the same scripture and opened unto him the need for, the, for salvation Amen. and as they went on their way they came to a certain water and Enoch said see here this water what doth hinder me to be baptized? If, if thou believest with all thy heart, thou mayest. And he answered and said, I believe that Christ is the Son of God. Why is understanding opened up? Yes, sir. Nobody ever doubts what he sees. Mm. I pray that each one will see the mystery in the anointing oil today. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. And as you see that, you are empowered to manifest it Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We live in a kingdom of mysteries. Mark chapter 4 verse 11. Unto us who are saved is given to know the mystery of the kingdom of God. But unto them that are without all these things are just mere stories. So we live in a kingdom that is ruled by mysteries. It's ruled by mysteries. And the anointing oil is one of, the, one of the mysteries of the kingdom for the healing of the nations. For the healing of the nations. James chapter 5 and verse 14 and 15 is any sick among you call upon the elders of the church and let them pray over him anointing with oil in the name of the Lord and the prayer of faith shall save the sick and the Lord shall raise him up in Psalm 89 verse 20 I have found David my servant 
with my holy oil have I anointed them, with whom my hand shall be established, my arm also shall strengthen him. He said, the enemy shall not exert upon him, shall not oppress him, nor the son of wickedness afflict him. And I will beat down his foot before his face and plague them that hate him. But my faithfulness and my mercy shall be with him, and in my name shall his horn be exalted. So there is a covering power in the oil. There is a preservation power in the oil. There is a touch not power in the oil. Therefore, evil shall not come nigh thee, neither any plague come nigh thy dwelling. As you are anointed today, your territory becomes a no-go area for the devil. Your family becomes a no-go area for the devil. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. But what is a mystery? Mysteries are divine secrets embedded in scriptures. Mysteries are divine secrets embedded in scriptures. In Ephesians 3, verse 1 to 5, Paul writes and said, For this cause I, Paul, the prisoner of Jesus Christ, for you Gentiles, if you have heard the dispensation of the grace of God which is given me to you all, how that by revelation he made known unto me the mystery. So the mysteries are contained in scriptures and he unveils them by revelation. As I wrote afore in few words, whereby when ye read, ye may understand my knowledge of the mystery of Christ, which in other ages was not made known unto the sons of men as is now revealed unto his holy apostles and prophets by the Spirit. So apostles and prophets are custodians of the mysteries of the kingdom. He reveals it to them face by face so they can release it to the saints of God. Well, the good news is the mercy of the anointing oil is revealed to me to bless mankind worldwide. Amen. Its impact is everywhere around the world. Amen. And you will experience that today. Amen. Mysteries may not make sense to the natural mind, but they are the hiding place of God's power. The power of God is hid in mysteries. Yes, sir. You may not be able to explain how the water turned to wine, but you can't doubt that it turned to wine. Yes, you may not be able to explain what is in Jordan that cleansed Naaman after seven dips, as if he has never had a bath. But you can't deny that his flesh was restored like that of a child. There is no scientific or geographical explanation to how the Red Sea gave way. But it did. But it did. So it is by mercies we gain mastery over the affairs of life. The natural man receives not the things of the Spirit of God because they are foolishness to him. Neither can he know them because they can only be designed spiritually. He can't know them because his ways are higher than our ways and his thoughts than our thoughts. Isaiah 55 and verse 8. His ways are higher than our ways and his thoughts than our thoughts. So it takes raw faith to make the most of the mysteries of the kingdom of God. It takes raw faith. It takes raw faith. In Ephesians chapter 3, verse 8 to 11. Unto me, Paul was saying, 
who am less than the least of all saints, is this grace given that I should preach among the Gentiles the unsearchable riches of Christ and to make all men see you don't just read to tap into the mysteries. You see. Amen. To make all men see yes. what is a fellowship of the mystery, yes. which from the beginning of the world was has been hid in God, Amen. who created all things by Jesus Christ. Amen. To the intent that now, to the principalities and powers in heavenly places, might be known by the church the manifold wisdom of God. That is, it will disarm principalities and powers and make a nonsense of them. So whatever forces from here are behind coronavirus, they are crashing down today. They are crashing down today. They are crashing down today. In the name of Jesus. They are crashing down today. In the name of Jesus. They are crashing down today. In the name of Jesus. Amen. They are crashing down today. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. They are crashing down today. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. That is, mysteries are the ken are the wisdom of God in manifestation. Whatever it says to you, do, do it. When you do what it says, you are committed his integrity to perform. Therefore, in the name of Jesus Christ, the end has come finally to the scourge of coronavirus today. Amen. In the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. In the name of Amen. Jesus Christ. He talks about horns coming from his hand. Habakkuk chapter 3 verse 4. He had horns coming out of his hand and there was the hiding of his power. So God's power is hidden. Yes. In the wisdom of God, is hidden the mysteries of God. In First Corinthians chapter two, verse seven and eight, we read, "But we speak the mystery, the, the wisdom of God, in a mystery, even the hidden wisdom, which God ordained before the world unto our glory, which none of the princes of this world knew, for had they known it, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory." We speak the wisdom of God in a mystery. So the mysteries of God, they are the wisdom of God in manifestation. We speak the mystery, the wisdom of God in a mystery. Yet, not the wisdom of this world, not the wisdom of this world that come to naught. The wisdom of God, which God ordained before the world unto our glory. So our glory is packaged in those mysteries. Yes, and our access to them, we turn our shame to glory. Amen. Therefore, this choking experience with coronavirus yes. is over today. Amen. Let me hear your loudest. Amen. Let me hear your loudest. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Blessed be your name. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Amen. What is a mystery? Mysteries are often validated by testimonies. In most cases, they are inexplainable, but they are undeniable. Yes, sir. They are inexplainable. Jesus said in John chapter 10 and verse 37 and 38, If I do not the works of my Father, believe me not. But if I do, though ye believe not me, believe ye the works, Hallelujah. that ye may know and believe that the Father is in me and I in him. Believe the works. Believe the works. Believe the works. We have had so many diverse testimonies of the healing power of God, the deliverance power of God, the preservation power of God through the mercy of the oil. Believe for the very work's sake. 
that there is power in the anointing oil to set free, to preserve, to heal, and to deliver. Because every testimony is a pointer to our heritage in Christ. In Psalm 119, verse 111, he said, Thy testimonies have I taken as an heritage forever, and they are the rejoicing of my heart. So every testimony is a pointer to what God has in stock for you, to what God has in stock for me. Therefore, every terminal disease shall be terminated on this altar today. Amen. Let me hear your loudness. Amen. Let's examine the origin of the anointing oil. The anointing oil is an ordinance of God. It's not a man-made rite or doctrine of a church. The Lord said unto Moses, Let's start from verse 22. Moreover, the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Take thou also unto thee principal spices of pure Maya, 500 shekels, and of sweet cinnamon, half so much, even 250 shekels, and of sweet calamon, 250 shekels, and of cassia, 500 shekels, and after the shekel of the sanctuary, and of oil, olive, and hay. And thou shalt make it an oil of holy ointment, an ointment after the order of the chemist. It shall be an holy anointing oil. Amen. Now, and thou shalt anoint the tabernacle of the congregation therewith, and the ark of the testimony, and the table and all its vessels, and the candlestick and its vessels, and the altar of incense, and the altar of burnt offerings with all its vessels, and the lava and its food. And thou shalt sanctify them by anointing those things. You sanctify them, you set them apart, that they may be most holy. Whatsoever touches them shall be holy. Now, and thou shalt anoint Aaron and his sons, and consecrate them, that they may minister unto me in the priest's office. We are very deemed as priests and kings, and we are to reign on the earth. So we are the priest that he's talking about. By the anointing, we are enabled to stand in our priestly office where we make decrees and heavens confirm. And that shall speak unto the children of Israel, saying, This shall be an holy anointing oil unto me throughout your generations. So it's a transgenerational mystery. Its impact goes from generation to generation. Its impact goes from generation to generation. Its impact goes from generation to generation. And we saw that continue. We saw in 1 Samuel chapter 10, how Saul was anointed to be captain over God's inheritance. So when you are anointed, you become captain over what belongs to you. It cannot be taken from you. Now, we saw how David was anointed in 1 Samuel chapter 16 and verse 13. You know, so it's validating it shall be an holy anointing unto me throughout your generation. Amen. We saw how Elijah was told to anoint Jehu as king over Israel. 1 Kings chapter 19 and verse 15 and 16. And the Lord said unto Elijah, Go return on the way to the wilderness of Damascus. And when thou comest, anoint Haziel to be king over Syria. And Jehu the son of Nimshi shall thou anoint to be king over Israel. And Elisha the son of Shaphat of Abimelech, Abihola, shall thou anoint to be prophet in thy room. So you see the anointing goes from generation to generation. In Isaiah chapter 10, it says, and the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing. We saw in Mark chapter 6, how Jesus gave them the bottle of the oil 
and they anointed with oil men that were sick and healed them. <coughs> we also saw in the book of James chapter 5, he said, let's seek among you, call upon the other. So, it's a transgenerational mystery. Amen. It's not an Old Testament phenomenon. Jesus brought it into the New Testament. Yes. And after he left, we saw it in the post-apostolic ministry. So, it's a transgenerational mystery and it's still working like fire Amen. today. Give the Lord a big hand of prayer. Amen. So the origin is God. It's not a church doctrine. It's the mystery of the kingdom. It's a mystery of the kingdom inaugurated by God himself. And what about the Lord doing? So today, by the mystery of this anointing, there shall be healing of the nations of the world. The nation shall be healed today. Amen. This threat and dread shall be over. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. In the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. In the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. Amen. But what is in the anointing oil that heals? Number one, the Spirit of the Lord. that sets free the captive, buys the brokenhearted, is in the hour. Luke chapter 4 and verse 14. Luke chapter 4 verse 18. The spirit of the Lord is upon me, that's Jesus speaking, because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives, and the coming of sight to the blind. To set at liberty them that are bruised. That's what the Spirit of the Lord does. And what is in the oil? The Spirit of the Lord. 4 Samuel chapter 16, verse 13. David was anointed in the midst of his brethren, and the Spirit of the Lord came upon him from that day forward. By the anointing today, the Spirit of the Lord that sets free the captives that he is the broken hearted is coming upon your life Amen. and whatever sickness came with you to this service wherever you may be on the face of the earth you will not return with it Amen. let me hear your loudest amen. Amen. let me hear your loudest amen. Amen. remember in Ephesians chapter 4 verse 4 the Bible said there is one body and one spirit so the spirit of the Lord that was upon Christ is the same that's in the oil yes, after it is blessed. So after this oil is blessed today, it becomes a carrier of the spirit of the Lord. Amen. And every yoke in everyone's life shall be openly destroyed. Amen. What's in the oil, the anointing oil that he is, the power of God that sets free from all oppressions of the devil is in the oil. Mark again chapter 6 verse 7. He called his twelve and sent them two by two and gave them power over unclean spirit. Verse 12. And they went and preached that men should repent. They cast out many devils and anointed with oil many that were sick and healed them. The power of God that heals all manner of sickness and disease is in the oil. Matthew chapter 10 verse 1 He called his 12 disciples. He gave them power against unclean spirits to cast them out and to heal all manner of sickness and all manner of disease. After his own order. Yes, sir. In Matthew chapter 4, verse 23, Jesus went about all Galilee, teaching in their synagogues and preaching the gospel of the kingdom and healing all manner of sickness and all manner of disease 
among the people. Therefore, all manner of sickness Amen. and all manner of disease Amen. shall be healed here today. Amen. There is no barrier in the world of the spirit. I once anointed a woman's picture that was diagnosed for uh, cancer in the U.S. And Jesus healed him, healed her from Nigeria. Yes, sir. Somebody took communion online with us in India and Jesus liberated him from the scourge of bone marrow cancer. He stood on the pulpit one year after to testify I was the one that Jesus healed. His word runs swiftly. Amen. Because his word is light. So it moves at the speed of light to nation. So no matter where anybody may be today, you are far away in Australia, you are up in China, wherever anyone caught sick, every victim of coronavirus, as you follow the instructions from scriptures today, your healing is confirmed. Your healing is confirmed. Your healing is confirmed. We had a feet washing service some years ago, and somebody was in the hospital bed and was waiting for his death and struggled to get a bowl of water and put his feet in it. He slept off while the prophetic blessings were going on. By the time he woke up, the water had turned to like palm wine. That was the end of that cancer. I pray that today, from across the nations of the world, everyone being tormented by the devil shall be totally set free. Shall be totally set free. The power of God that he is all man of sickness and disease is in the oil. What's in the oil? that keeps safe whole and free the seal of exemption from all evils is in the oil Amen. the seal of exemption from all evils is in the oil as they went from one nation to another and from one kingdom to another people he suffered no man to do them wrong. Yea, he reproved kings for their sake, say, touch not my anointed, and do my prophet no harm. By this anointing today, I'm releasing you as a touch not entity. Amen. Every evil that attempts a touch on your life, shall see the red eyes of God. Amen. In Zechariah chapter 2 verse 8, whosoever touches you touches the apple of my eyes. Anything, any devil that dares you today, Amen. from today, Amen. touches the apple of his eyes. Amen. In the name of Amen. Jesus. Amen. In the name of Amen. Jesus. In the name of Amen. Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. And so shall it be. What is in the oil that he is. Now listen. In Matthew chapter 3 and verse 11 and 12. John the Baptist was speaking. He said, I indeed baptize you with water unto repentance. But there's one coming after me. He's mightier than I. Whose shoes I'm not worthy to bear. He shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire. Now, whose fan is in his hand? And he will thoroughly purge his floor and gather his wheat into the Ghana, but he will burn up the chaff with unquenchable fire. We are the temples of the Holy Ghost. Yes, sir. First Corinthians 6, verse 19. 
What know ye not that your body is a temple of the Holy Ghost, yes, yes, yes. which is in you, which ye have of God, and ye are not your own? First Corinthians chapter 3 and verse 16. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God, and that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you? So it confirms it. Yes, sir that we are his temple. Yes, yes. And he has a mission to thoroughly purge our floor, right. mm -hmm. to preserve the organs, yes, yes. and burn off every child with his unquenchable fire. Amen. And burn off every child yes. with his unquenchable yes. fire. Yes. And burn off every yes. child. Yes. Now, we all know that there is no way to vacuum, vacuum clean any floor without getting inside. So the Spirit of the Lord, when we take a shot of the oil, goes inside with the mercy of the fan and the fire to preserve every organ, to perfect the functions of every malfunctioning organ, and to burn off every child that is better in people's life. Therefore, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, every child in every life, for as many as believe in this mystery, and will partake of this shot of the oil today shall be cleared off. Amen. The same way it clears off sickle cell anemia. Yes, yes, the same way it clears off hepatitis B. Yes, the same way it clears off yes, HIV AIDS. Yes, yes, Whatever thing is not planted by God in anyone's life yes, shall be born with unquenchable yes, fire. Yes, so when we take the shot, we should take with the understanding of the mystery of the fire and the fire. We should take with the understanding of the mystery of the fire and the fire. We have had too many testimonies in this place. And only fools doubt proofs. Only fools doubt proofs. Therefore, in the name of the Lord Jesus, this will command proofs in your life today. Many people infected with coronavirus will be liberated now. And the leaves of the tree shall be for the healing of the nations. Mm. And the leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nations. And the leaves of the trees were for the healing of the nations. And the holy anointing oil is made up of that tree, if you check all of the components. Yes, yes, and it's for the healing of the nations. So every afflicted nation shall be set free today. Every afflicted nation shall be set free today. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Every afflicted nation shall be set free today. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Every afflicted nation shall be set free today. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Every afflicted nation shall be set free today. Amen. In the name of the Lord Amen. Jesus Christ. Now, how do we apply the anointing or We apply this oil as a mark of exemption from all evils on our forehead. But come not near any man upon whom is a mark. The mark must be on your forehead for them to see it. Come not near any man upon whom is a mark. Come not near any man upon whom is a mark. So we apply the oil upon our forehead to say to every devil, stay clear. Every agent of the devil, keep off. A no-go area. This is a no-go area for you. Yes, it's a no-go area for you. It's a no-go area for you. 
as they went from one nation to another. Yes. Psalm 105, verse 13 to 15. And from one kingdom to another people. He suffered no man to do them wrong. Yea, he reproved kings for their sakes, saying, Touch not my anointed, Amen. and do my prophet no harm. Amen. After this anointing today, that will be the decree upon your forehead. Amen. In the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. Amen. Number two, we apply the mystery of the anointing oil by taking a shot of it. Thereby, burning off every chaff in our system. In Romans 8, 11, if the spirit that raised Christ from the dead dwells in you, he that raised up Christ from the dead shall also quicken your mortal bodies by his spirit that dwelleth in you. He makes our bodies to come alive. So as you take the shot, of the oil. Romans 8 11, you take the shot of the oil, it quickens every part of your body. Your liver, your organ, your kidney, your intestine. It quickens every part of your body. Every part of your body. Every part of your body. It reorders every part of your brain. That's what it does. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Therefore, every tree that my heavenly Father has not planted shall be burnt with unquenchable fire. Amen. Everything in your blood, everything in your eyes, everything in your ears, whatever makes you incomplete by any way shall be burnt with unquenchable Amen. fire. Matthew 15, 13. He said, every plant which my heavenly Father has not planted shall be rooted out. Rooted shall be rooted up. Therefore, today, high yes, blood pressure, Amen. hypertension, Amen. heart disease, Amen. kidney crisis, Amen. liver crisis, Amen. coronavirus, yes, they are all rooted up. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Here is a mystery the Lord spoke to me last week. Jeremiah chapter 22, verse 29. O earth, earth, hear the word of the Lord. O earth, earth, hear the word of the Lord. Heaven is his throne, and the earth he has given to the children of men. He has not given it to virus. No. Hear ye the word of the Lord. O earth. He said the heaven, even the heavens are thy throne. But the earth has he given unto the children of men. He stays in heaven and he gives the earth to us. He didn't give it to the devil. No. He didn't give it to virus. Yes, he didn't give it to the destroyer. No. Therefore, taking a sheet of faith to quench all the fear of the of the devil. Yes. <coughs> so across the nations of the earth, Amen. anoint the soil Amen. of every nation where you Amen. are. And begin to invoke the authority of Jeremiah 22, verse 29. Amen. O earth, 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 hear the word of the Lord. Heaven is his throne. The earth as he given to the children of man. It's not given to coronavirus. It's not given to Ebola. It's not given to killer disease. The earth as he given to the children of man. So at a point in this, because of this ministration, the senior pastors where you are gathered together and leaders of the home where you are gathered together, we take the bottle after we have blessed it and anoint the soil, not the concrete. Anoint the soil, the soil, 
and speaking to it. O earth. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Reject coronavirus in this land. Amen. Reject coronavirus in this nation. Amen. Set free the captives of coronavirus. Amen. Let there be waves of healings today. Amen. Let there be waves of healings today. Amen. And release the nations of the earth from this captivity. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. What you are saying here today is this. This mystery will destroy the hold of coronavirus on the nations of the earth. Amen. This mystery will destroy the hold of coronavirus across the nations of the earth. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Amen. Jesus. In the name of Amen. Jesus. Therefore, by the ministration of the mystery of the anointing today, the root of coronavirus plague is caused and shall spread no further. Amen. In the same vein, every life threatening disease shall be healed Amen. through the mystery of the anointing oil today. Amen. And total health shall be restored Amen. to everyone Amen. that believes. Amen. It shall come to pass in that day yes. that his burden shall be lifted from your shoulder you, and his yoke from your neck yes. and the yoke shall be destroyed because, because of the anointing. And the yoke shall be destroyed because, because it shall come to pass in that day. Yes, it's not the following day. In that day. In that day. It shall come to pass in that day. Today is that day. We are releasing the power and the mystery of the oil for the healing of the nations today. Amen. We shall hear news. Amen. It shall be good news. Amen. That somehow the thing has found its way out. That he has pushed himself back. Amen. It has gone back to where it came from. Amen. Of the planet earth. Yes. Of every nation of the earth. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Do this, Lord, yes, Lord, that the proud will learn wisdom. Amen. Do it, Lord, Amen. to show that you are the only one that holds the answer yes, in your heart. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Blessed be your name. Hallelujah. Give the Lord a big hand of prayer. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Just before we go on for the ministration today, Wherever you may be, maybe as an individual hooked onto this service, maybe at our WSF centers across the cities of Nigeria, um, maybe in your small fellowship, your family altar, and you know that you know that you are not saved yet, this is your opportunity. To open your heart to Jesus and be listed among the army of overcomers. Amen. Let me hear your loudest. Amen. So wherever you are, you'd like me to pray with you to be saved. Please stand to your feet. And I'll be praying for you right now. Stand to your feet across the nations of the earth. Stand to your feet. Stand to your feet. Jesus sees you where you are. Amen. Would you please pray this prayer after me from the depth of your heart? Say after me, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus I, surrender my life to you today. I surrender my life to you today. Forgive me all my sins. Me all my sins. Wash, me with your blood. Wash me with your blood. I believe you died for me. You died for me. On the third day you rose again, the third day you rose again. that I may be justified. Be justified. Right now, right now. I believe my sins, are now forgiven. My sins are now forgiven. I'm saved. I'm, saved. I'm, born, again. I'm born again. I'm a child of God. Child of God. Thank, you, Thank you, Jesus, for saving my soul. Saving my soul. I, will I will serve you all the days of my life. Of my life. Amen. Amen. Let me pray over you, Father, in the name of Jesus. I pray over these individuals spread across the nations of the earth. They have opened their heart to you. Thank you for receiving them. Amen. 
Thank you for saving them. Amen. Thank you for forgiving them. Amen. Now they are born of the Spirit. They are listed among overcomers. Amen. None of them shall be overcome with evil. Amen. They enter into the fullness of this blessing today. Amen. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. 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 Give the Lord a big hand of praise. Amen. 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 